So in this video, we're gonna talk a little bit more about the CRF 450 and hopefully pull the motor out of the bike, get on the table and see if we can't figure out what's wrong with it. But for now, I just wanna get this bike completely stripped down. You can see I already pulled off all the plastics and everything. Um, sorry I didn't record that. Well, it's just kind of how it kind of goes when you have a project. Sometimes you just kind of want to get things done. But hopefully we'll have this thing tore down and ready to clean. So let's go ahead and start pulling parts off and get it ready to clean. Okay, so here's a pretty good view of the carburetor in question. I believe what I'm going to do is pull these cables off up by the handlebars, pull off the twist throttle, and then there is a clamp on the boot in here. We're going to have to take that loose and probably a sensor. So let's go ahead and pull the twist throttle off and get the cables loose and then we'll go ahead and pull off this carb. All right, moving my attention back to this end of the bike. We need to take off these radiators, get them out of the way, uh, pull the exhaust header off the other side. So let's go ahead and start removing these radiators. Wow. Full titanium exhaust and somebody actually welded this up to repair it. Interesting. They did a nice job welding it. Not bad. Looks like it wasn't even leaking. Okay, here you go. So I got the motor up on the bench. 
and I'm gonna go ahead and start tearing apart things and kind of figure out what's wrong with this motor so uh, I can order parts hopefully it's not too bad Okay, after some time of struggling, I now have some very loose bolts. So let's pull those off and see what we got. Can you see it? Because I don't. Actually, it looks okay. What? actually looks okay hmm interesting could it be a seized crank bearing hmm You can see all the cross hatching in the cylinder still. That's pretty good. This is, uh, I mean, it's a little bit scored, but it's not bad. It's not bad. Okay, so. Yep. This would be a seized crank bearing. Lovely. All right guys, so it's actually a few days later. Um, as you can see, got the motor out of the bike. We found out that it is in fact a seized up crankshaft bearing. So I actually ordered a Wiseco kit for this bike just because it was inexpensive. Um, as far as the rest of the bike goes, I got a plastic kit coming in the mail. I got a graphics kit and I got a few other things kind of dress this bike up and make it a little bit nicer. But for today, that's it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you've liked this video, be sure to hit that like button. And if you guys are brand new here and you want to join the little family we've got going here on this YouTube channel, be sure to subscribe. I'll catch you guys on the next video. Ride safe.